We're hearing tonight from the father of the 14-year-old who drowned at the St. Mary's River last week. We spoke to him as hundreds gathered at a vigil for Jacoby Clayton this evening. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker was at the vigil. She's joining us live with more on what those loved ones had to say about the team. Fran? Kent, just being out there, there were hundreds upon hundreds of people, classmates, the sheriff's office from Baker County, teachers, the superintendent, the father, the mother, the brother of Jacoby Clayton. And just looking at the picture that you're, I'm about to show you from tonight, you'll see just how much this 14-year-old was loved. I couldn't do nothing. It was too late. He already, you know, got and called him home. Kendrick Clayton describes last Friday as his worst nightmare when his family received a phone call from the Baker County Sheriff's Office to rush to Shoals Park because his son, 14-year-old Jacoby Clayton, had drowned. When I got there, he was still in the water. So uh, my first reaction was hit the water, you know, see if I can do anything. Oh, God, give myself away. Family, friends, classmates, and teachers were amongst the sea of red all holding up the letter C for Kobe. I always make people smile and laugh. A bunch of memories and, you know, kept people smiling and laughing. Everyone really loved him. He made everybody laugh. He was a really sweet person. And his voice was clear when I got that call. Though poems and songs won't bring the team back, he will always be remembered as a young man who could brighten up anyone's day. Like when I was always down, he made me smile and he knew how to pick people back up again. He was a great kid. I'm gonna miss him dearly. I wish he was here with me, but God loved him more. And, and I love God for that. And the homegoing services for Jacoby Clayton will be at 2 p.m. on Sunday in McClinney at the Emmanuel Church of God in Christ. I'm live from Chesky Channel 4, the local station.